top gigantic companies in Ghana and Nigeria. Nigeria and Ghana, found in the West African economic community, are the biggest and most developed countries in this region. The economies of these countries are both powered by state-owned companies, cooperation and private individuals, banks, companies and organization. These companies provide employment to the citizens of these nations and are major players in the development of the countries. These companies are found in the automobile, communications, banking and lot more. To know more about the top companies in Nigerian and Ghana, please subscribe to Africa Reloaded. In no particular order here are the top largest companies in Nigeria and Ghana. Kentanka Automobile, Ghana Kentanka Automobile, a Ghana-based automotive company that designs, manufactures, assembles and sells luxury cars, was founded in 1994 by Quadwo Safo Kentanka as a limited liability corporation to manufacture automotive components and combine them with other parts outsourced from component suppliers to form a complete-built unit. The first complete-built unit, CBU, was produced in 1998 with over 75% of local components, including the engine block, fabricated locally. The Anantifo, the first SUV, was produced in 2006. Innocent Vehicle Manufacturer, Nigeria. IVM stands for Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Co. Limited, a Nigerian vehicle and bus manufacturer. It was created by Chief Innocent Chukuma Nwala and operates a factory in Ennui and Ampra State. Pride of African Road is a moniker for Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing. 70% of automotive parts are made in the United States, with the rest coming from Japan, China, and Germany. The 5 seaters Fox, 1.5-liter engine, and Umu, 2-liter engine, as well as the minibus Yuzo, are among IVM vehicle models. Some West African countries, such as Mali, Sierra Leone, and Ghana, use innocent automobiles. Cosmos Energy, Ghana Cosmos Energy is a prominent deepwater exploration and production firm whose mission is to meet the world's growing energy needs. In the proven basins where we operate, we have diverse production, a world-class gas development, and value creation prospects from exploration. Cosmos was formed with the intention of providing value to all of our stakeholders, including investors, employees, partners, and the governments and residents of our host nations. It is vital to achieve this goal by operating in a safe, responsible, and ecologically sound manner. Airpeace Nigeria Nigerian airlines have been prominent operators in West Coast destinations, including Central and West Africa, over the past 30 years. Before the Chinese invaded the West African market, Nigerian businessmen and women ruled the subregion, providing goods and services to the expanding market in West and Central Africa's cities. Nigerian-made products such as Milo, Bornvita, Indomie, and Nigerian electric cables are still commonplace in many parts of the subregion. So from the days of Nigeria Airways limited to the time Bellevue Airline ruled, to the time Virgin Nigeria Airways survived on proceeds from the West Coast and the foray of Eric Air to all major cities in West and Central Africa, and even further to Angola, the destinations in the subregion have remained a veritable and robust market for Nigerian carriers. Airtel Nigeria Airtel Africa a telecommunications enterprise is the largest company in Nigeria by market capitalization. In 2021, its outstanding shares had a market value of over 9 billion US dollars. Additionally, Airtel Africa is the 16th largest company in Africa by market capitalization. Dangote Cement, based in Lagos and active in various African countries, ranked second with a value of around 8.9 billion US dollars. It was followed by MTN Nigeria with almost 8 billion US dollars in market cap. Globacom Limited Nigeria. Commonly known as GLO, is a Nigerian multinational telecommunications company founded on 29 August 2003 by Mike Adenuga. As of June 2018, the company employs more than 3,500 people worldwide. Glow has over 4 to 5 million subscribers December 2018, making it the second largest network operator in Nigeria. 
In 2011, Glow became the first telecommunication company to build an $800 million high-capacity fiber optic cable known as Glow One, a submarine cable from the United Kingdom to Nigeria. It is the first successful submarine cable from the United Kingdom to Nigeria. Globacom has the following strategic business units, Glow Mobile, Glow Broad Access, Glow Gateway and Glow One. Glow is privately owned by the Mike Adenuva Group, which also consists of Cobblestone Properties and Estates, a real estate and property development company, Canoil PLC, a petroleum marketing company, and Canoil Producing, a crude exploration and production company. Dangate Group Nigeria The Dangate Group is a Nigerian multinational industrial conglomerate founded by Aliko Dangate, it is the largest conglomerate in West Africa and one of the largest on the African continent. The group employs more than 30,000 people, generating revenue in excess of $4.1 billion in 2017. The company was founded in 1981 as a trading enterprise, importing sugar, cement, rice, fisheries and other consumer goods for distribution in the Nigeria market. The group moved into manufacturing in the 1990s, starting with textiles, moving on to flour milling, salt processing and sugar refining by the end of the decade. The company next moved into cement production, growing rapidly and moving into other African countries. A high degree of vertical integration is a hallmark of Dangote Group's operating strategy. The group now owns and operates over 18 subsidiaries, operating in 10 African countries. Dankate Cement is one of these subsidiaries that is listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, with its market capitalization accounting for almost 20% of the total capitalization of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Dankate Group is headquartered in Lagos. G Oil Ghana G Oil Company Limited, G Oil, succeeded the marketing outfit of Agit Petrelli, a subsidiary which was established in Ghana in 1960. In 1974, the government of Ghana acquired 100% shares and changed the name to Ghana Oil Company Limited. In 2019, the company changed its name to G Oil Company Limited to reflect its growth and expansion activities, ventures in the petroleum sector and other industries. The company's mission focuses on marketing quality petroleum and other energy products and services in a safe, ethical, healthy, environmentally friendly and socially responsible manner. The company is manned by a management team, including the managing director slash group chief executive. Olam Ghana Established in 1994, Olam Ghana is one of the leading agri-food companies in the country. Her global team of over 81,000 employees have built leadership positions in many of her businesses such as cocoa, coffee, cotton, nuts, and spices. Her six values shape our actions towards her work, their customers, suppliers, culture, and each other, as well as growing crops in her own orchards and estates Olam source from over 5 million farmers and operates 75 large processing and manufacturing facilities. Olam develop ingredients and packaging solutions and deliver risk management, logistics and infrastructure to support her customers' needs. Through Olam's packaged foods business, Olam market her own brands directly to consumers in Africa. Here's a flavor of what that looks like. Malcolm Limited Ghana Malcolm Limited is Ghana's largest chain of retail department stores. Its head office is located at Second Palace Link Road, North Industrial Area, Accra, Ghana. The major portion of Melcom Limited's business is retail and Melcom is also highly placed in semi-wholesale and wholesale distribution due to the vast range of goods we stock. There are several contributing factors that have made Melcom the household name it is today. The group is committed to providing great service with a smile, unbeatable value for money, quality merchandise. These are the top Nigerian and Ganyan businesses that keep the economy afloat. Thousands of Nigerian and Ganyan youths and citizens are employed by these businesses. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on your notifications for new video alerts if you appreciated the video.